all this ice cream is warm. Set my little tool bag down. So far, the fans is not running. Um, let's check this case, it's the same circuit. Look at that, they got water on the floor. Slip and fall. No fans running in this case. What circuit is this? Uh, it's rack two, circuit one B, so that's one A. Uh, let's just put this here in front of that, so no accidents, no slip and falls. On. All right, so we up in our motor room. This here is rack two. We got three compressors on this rack. Uh, so that one's running, that one's running, and that one's running, so that's a good sign. You know, compressors are all running, all three of them. And just check out liquid level. All right, so our liquid level is at 0%. This is rack two. As you can see, this rack takes HP80, R402A. Uh, let's just check out our E2. Let's see what's going on. Oh, uh, dang, I can smell gas, oil, something. Look at that on the floor. See, something, I can smell it. Um, what's that? Looks like a leak, baby. Oh my God, look at that. We got a big leak. Uh, look like the flare is loose. All right, so I just changed my camera view. Look at that, that's a big leak, man. This ain't here is pissing out gas. What's that, HP80, R402, so. Look at that, just pissing out gas. Water leak. So somebody may have been working on this, I'm not sure, but let me hurry up. See if we can slow down this leak a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. I don't you know, I don't want the thing to swing off and hit me in the eye or something. Look at that. See how loose that was? That was loose as shit. So uh that pretty much cost us a lot of money. Well, not me, but my boss uh, get my soap bubbles here's what I like to use uh, fluorescent gas leak detector it's pretty it's pretty good that blue stuff it's kind of hard to see uh, if I had a choice I prefer this just my preference so it looks like we just stopped the leak here man that was an easy service call if that's the only leak in here look at that on the floor Put my light on. Look at that. So this thing has to have been leaking for some time. Look at that. So uh, I guess I'll call the boss up, see if I can get some gas delivered. Let's check the sight glass if it's flashing. Oh. Sight glass is flashing. So, we got this under control, man. Let's, um, let's go check our controller like we was intended to do. All right, so, just checking our E2. That's rack one right there, as you can see. We wanna go to rack two. Go down, rack two. This one got two suction groups. Uh, see, that's the other suction group right there. Uh, we're reaching, we're pretty close to rack suction set point. Uh, that was at 24. I'm pretty sure it reaches such a set point. You can always log it. Log it. So yeah, it was just at such a set point not too long ago. So it does have the capability to pull down. We just got two cases in the lawn, as you can see our ice cream case. Rank two, circuit one. And then we got the frozen food freezer. I think that's a freezer. Check it out. Negative eight degrees. So yeah, that look like a freezer. Frozen. Yeah, so that's frozen food. Uh, let's check out our circuit ice cream. 
one case is running at 23, one is running at 49. So I need to try to get the ball rolling here quick uh, before we lose any product. When I touch the ice cream in the case, um, everything seemed to be still kind of cold and intact. Besides the top shelf was a little bit soft. As we know, heat rises. So uh, let's just grab this also. we we'll see how long it's been running hot. Can you see that? 1600 today, three March 18. Uh, that is four o'clock. This thing just started spiking. Look at that. So uh, I just made the call for some gas. Uh, got refrigerant on the way. All right, so here's our ice cream case that we're actually here for. That's running warm. Stick my leak detector in there. Um, so far, it's not picking up nothing. Just head to a couple cases. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh, what is that? 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 Just calm down, baby. Alright. So, staple leak detected in there so far. We ain't got anything. We'll go through and walk the stars. Normally, you just stick this right in here, man. This thing would scream that there's free on in here. So, let's just head to the walk in coolers, hit a couple cases, and go from there. Small traces, but nothing big. This is a ice cream freezer. No, it's, it's a low temp freezer, grocery freezer. This here is on also on rack two. They got a whole bunch of ice. Guess they're ready for that coronavirus. People going crazy, so they're getting loaded up. Plenty of waffles for you guys. So this store here has waffles. Anybody looking for waffles for the during the coronavirus? Also frozen food. So they got you. Well, frozen food section. Uh, no leaks in here, man. So we're gonna go add some gas. All right, so I got my HP 80. Got four tanks in the basket right here. I got two tanks right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add gas through this case. I don't want to carry all that refrigerant up to the rack, so um, that's what I'm going to do. But let me continue leak searching before I put in any gas, and I'll go from there. Got my leak detector right here, so let's get to it. Uh, no leak in this one, so there's a couple more coolers I got to go check. Uh, small traces, but nothing big. No leaks in here. All right, so we're back up in the motor room. I just added all six tanks, uh, HB80, I think it was like 162 pounds. Uh, let's check this sight glass. All right, so sight glass is clear, no longer flashing. All right, so let's, we feel like we're doing pretty good. We're at 29 degrees. I think earlier it was like in the 40s. Yeah, 50s, 40s. 52, 53. Uh, so we're dropping. Not sure why the temp's going up right now. Maybe they down there stocking the case. But uh, I need to go down there and check that out as well. Uh, let me just head back down and see why my temperature's rising in my case. So our fans kicked off again. Probably got a dirty screen in the TXV. That's it. So this one is running. This one is not. We're gonna check this TXV screen. See if this thing is clean. All right, so I just cleaned it. As you can see, you can see through it a little bit. Uh, so it is a little bit clean. I'm gonna put it back and let's see what happens. I may have to uh, pump this down and uh, check the pins. Um, could check the superheat, but in this case, it's been at 50 degrees for a couple hours. Product soft, you got a lot of moisture. We have to get, you know, get this case down to maybe about two degrees zero before we can actually check the superheat. Um, so let's um, go from there. Also, you can see that bottom of the valve. 
So it's starting to ice up a little bit right here. That lets you know that um, there's a restriction. This valve is not feeding properly. It could be dirty in the inside, but we did find a screen clog. I'm gonna open it back up and just see what happens. All right, look at that. I just um, put that screen back in, open up my liquid line. If you look at that real good, see that? That frost is going away, so my TXB screen was dirty on top of the rack being low on gas. So it's like a double whammy. Um, I could have started here at the valve, but when I got up to the roof, I noticed that um, we had a refrigerant leak. You know, I smelled it in the air, you know, plus it was visual. So I handled that, took care of the gas, and uh, also at the end of the day, you know, we had to come back here still at our screen but we had to look at the bigger picture you know don't just look at the apple look at the whole tree and um these fans gonna kick back on and uh, we're gonna come down the temperature so all right so i cleaned the screens and uh now our fans are back running we're gonna just give this some time and uh, we're gonna go up to the roof and we're gonna monitor the temperatures and uh, you know, watch these temperatures as they come down. All right, so let's just check our controller one more time before we leave, get out of here. All of our circuits are out of alarm. Rack one, no more alarm. Let's just log into it. Ice cream. So we're at zero degrees on that particular case. Uh, we're not at set point yet, but we are clear to go.